So today on Decryptotech, we have something a little bit different. It's uh, something for our silent PC friends. Uh, those of you that want a lot of power, but you don't want a lot of noise coming from your system. It's a ASUS's HD6770. This has their direct CU silent cooling system. According to ASUS, this is going to give you uh, 0 dB cooling, but it's also going to still have the same performance, obviously, of a uh, uh, AMD 6770 GPU. So let's take a look at the box. You have the usual uh, ASUS type of graphic. This is uh, you know, pretty much your typical graphic. It's eye-catching. It's going to get you to take a look at the box and pick it up. You also have, of course, it's got one gigabyte of uh, graphic di uh, dual data rate RAM 5. does DX11. Also on here you see where it says Super Alloy Power. We'll get in, uh, we'll talk about that. And of course it's uh, AMD Radeon, you know, formerly ATI Radeon graphics. So now let's take a look at the back here. You see that ASUS, uh, you know, of course the big push here is the DirectCU silent cooling. But you also see that you have your Super Alloy Power. And this is something a little new and something we haven't talked about before. But what is this uh, alloy power is according to ASUS's documentation. Basically, it, uh, it selected elements um, that under ASUS is made, so it provides a 50% performance increase, and it's a little bit cooler and also a little bit faster as far as uh, it, it has a, a better production lifespan. These are some of the things we talk about when we discuss component selection. And one of the big things lately, it has been, how long is this going to last me? Uh, your typical computer has been something of a disposable product ever since the introduction of the e-machine. Now, with the economy the way it is, consumers are actually looking for products that are going to give them a longer lifetime. Especially in your silent products where there is no active cooling, you tend to see these products not last as long. Home theater PCs tend to die very quickly because they're stuffed in small enclosures and they don't have an active cooling system to keep them cooler. So these components burn out because they're under much more stress. Again, they're also stuffed into smaller in, uh, boxes you know, inside of a cabinet. What ASUS has done here is they've come up with an alloy that's going to give you that longer lifespan. According to their documentation, two and a half times the lifespan of your traditional materials that you put in here. Again, we have a, you know, kind of an indicator of what you're going to get as far as your tra uh, traditional case setup. And then, of course, just some additional diagrams are going to draw you into picking up this product off of, the, off of a shelf if you were to see it that way. The difficult thing about that is, is 90, something like 90% of purchases of this type of product are now done online. So you're not going to walk into your local Best Buy, Target, or CompUSA and pick one of these up off of the shelf. It's just not the traditional market for this style of product. Your silent PC manufacturers are actually a little bit more picky when they pick up something. So they're going to do a lot more research on it and they're going to traditionally grab this offline. Still, it's nice to have some nice packaging on here. All right, let's go ahead and open up the box and we'll take a look at what you get inside. The first thing you'll notice is that this is ASUS's traditional higher end packaging style. It has their black box with of course the uh, ASUS logo on there and gold lettering. Inside you have the additional boxes, a nice box for your documentation. We've already had this card out so of course it's not going to have the, uh, it's not going to be in the static bag. We took some still shots of it earlier. And then you have your 6770 Direct CU card. And we'll go into the details of this later, but let's take a look at what else you get inside the box. Inside your documentation box, you have pretty much everything you need. You have several power adapters, different styles, and then of course an HDMI to DVI adapter. HDMI to DVI adapter is your typical one. You have a regular uh, six pin to six pin PCIe adapter. And then of course you have a dual Molex to six pin PCIe adapter and your traditional setup disk and your manual. Again, not much to, to talk about with this, but you do get quite a bit when you start dealing with the SUSE software, which we will definitely go over when we get further into the review and we start talking about the performance side. All right, so now let's take a look at the direct CU zero dB cooling system that ASUS has on here. As you can see, it is a much larger cooling design than what you would see on a typical card of this type. To give you an example here, we've brought in our uh, ASUS 5870 V2, this is the stocker edition, and as you can see, it is just significantly bigger. You're going to have a lot more cooling area and a lot more surface area on this than you are on even a traditional active cooling system. This is going to give you a lot more cooling across here. You also have a much more open design. The reason you have this open design is because you don't want these encased. There's no air being forced through here, so you need to have these open to any kind of air movement that's going to be inside your case. This is not something you would want to stuff inside of a mini ITX case where there's very little airflow or where there would be other components that are going to block airflow. 
Again, you can see in comparison to the size of the actual card here, this cooling system is going to extend way beyond the boundaries of the physical card itself. You can tell by the rounded edges that this is not a reference design. This is actually one that ASUS put together and is also going to incorporate the, uh, the new alloy that they have. It's going to give you the longer component lifespan, the better performance, and better power transmission through here. It's also going to keep the system cooler. The nice thing about ASUS's aftermarket designs is that they tend to put a, little, a lot more thought into these than what you would see with the reference designs. A lot of reference designs are designed to meet specifications and to come in under the maximums, whereas ASUS is going to blend and, and kind of give you the best blend of what the specification is as well as what the maximum potential is for these cards. So again, let's take a look. One of the things, uh, of course, the direct CU portion means that you have direct contact with the heat pipes onto the GPU itself. Now each one of these four heat pipes, as you look, are larger diameter than what your traditional heat pipe is going to be. This is going to give you a, a little bit more cooling effect through here. They're also much more spaced out in your actual cooling system here. So again, you're going to get a better benefit. Each one of these is going to have the benefit of having more active fins to allow cooling to this particular heat pipe, which is then, of course, going to translate back to the GPU itself. One of the downsides of this, and something that we've always wondered about, going back into the you know the the old days of the GPU was memory used to be a big issue and you wanted to see that memory cooled as much as possible in newer designs we're seeing that the actual memory itself is not being cooled in the same way that the GPU is it's being left open now the downside of this again is that although the GPU is going to be kept very cool and it's going to be efficient again as long as you're in a a case that has good airflow what you're not going to get is you're not going to get the benefit of cooling your RAM chips that are in here those, if they overheat, are what actually will cause the majority of your artifacts and your problems in production of any kind of video effects and, uh, that you're going to see in your games. That does worry us a little bit, but we'll see how things go when, uh, when we put this in the system and we actually get it operational and under some uh, good video game load. Unfortunately, um, with this large cooling system, you are going to want to use the adapter that ASUS included. As you can see here, the 6-pin uh, PCIe power connector is very close to these pipes. Once you get this in there, it's probably going to be a little difficult to get it in. I would recommend putting that adapter in here before you throw it in the case, and then you can just connect it from there. Again, you, know, you have your double height uh, tang here, DVI, right, standard VGA, and of course you have HDMI out. And you know we'll be going through these, and we'll see just exactly what kind of performance this uh, card from ASUS will get us.